For PokerGaming.com, this is James Gwill. Event number 31 of the 2010 World Series of Poker was the $1,500 horse event. Now, this event started with 827 players looking to take down this mixed bracelet and $635,000 in prize money. Now, a solid field of both amateurs and pros took the felt, and by the end of the day, 247 players returned to come back and work their way to the money in day two. Eighty players made the money in this event, and among the people cashing in this event were Doug Carley, Robert Williamson III, George Lind, Tom Dwan, Pat Pezen, Brandon Cantu, and the First Lady of Poker, Linda Johnson. Day three started with 24 players returning and looking to take not only the final table, but also the bracelet. Now, this uh, marathon session was expected, and the table, of course, could proceed to produce just such a long session. Ming Reslock and James Van Alstyne joined Alan Kessler on the rail in day three action as they were all eliminated prior to the final table. Al Barbieri was the chip leader heading into the final table. Joining him was Robert Mizraki, who also made the final table of the $50,000 Poker Players Championship earlier in this WSOP. Other players at the final table included Ken Lennard, Dustin Leary, Andrew Revesh, Henny Awad, Blake Cahill, and Konstantin Pukov. Heads up play was between Al Barbieri and Konstantin Pukov. Now, both of these players started 1-2 in chips at the beginning of the final table, so it was kind of fitting that they faced each other in heads up play. Now, at the start of final table play, Barbieri was in the lead, 2.6 million to just 1.1 million of Pukov. However, heads up play went back and forth as is a tendency for limit, or any type of limit game actually. And at one point, Pukov went on a monster run of cards and ended up taking a dominating, taking a dominating lead over Barbieri. Barbieri was just down to 600,000 in chips and he ended up putting all of them in by 5th Street during Stud High Low. He had buried fours against the two pair of Pukov. Pukov had sevens and deuces, and Barbieri really needed to catch another four in order to go ahead. On six, Pukov filled up, and Barbieri was drawing dead at this point. Konstantin Pukov made a strong comeback to take the $1,500 horse bracelet, and $256,820 in prize money. For PokerGaming.com, this is James Gwill. For more, stay tuned to PokerGaming.com as we bring you recaps and coverage from the 2010 World Series of Poker.